two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, what I'd like to do is just to reflect for a minute on some of the promises around President Obama's health care law. You remember, he said during the course of the debate about the health care law, Mr. Speaker, that if you like what you keep, if you like what you have, you can keep it. But what we found is that some estimates say that up to 30 percent of employers will actually drop their health care coverage. So those folks that have that coverage, they don't get to keep that coverage, Mr. Speaker. There was also a promise that the law would actually lower premiums, and yet family premiums are already increasing by as much as $1,600 per year. But there was one promise that was made that was actually kept, and it was a promise, Mr. Speaker, from the gentlelady from California, who, as Speaker of the House, said, in a nutshell, we've got to pass the bill so that you can know what's in it. Well, she did, and we do. And what's in it was a cascading group of mistakes. One was the 1099 bill. Big mistake. Wasn't found the first time around. We were able to fix that. The second was the Class Act, a recognition that it was a failure and inoperable. Hasn't been dealt with by the administration, but at least they put the white flag up and said it's ridiculous. Two other things now have come to our attention. The first is well discussed, that is the medical device, device act, uh, the medical device tax. And even the gentleman from Washington, uh, from the other side of the aisle, makes an argument criticizing the study, but at best he creates a Hobson's choice. At best he says, well, it may not, it may not kill jobs, but then the alternative, Mr. Speaker, it's just going to raise health care costs. That's what that study says. And the irony is, now we have the chance, under the leadership of the gentlelady from Kansas, Ms. Jenkins, to make so that working moms don't have to have the hassle of going to see a physician when their child is sick in order to buy an over-the-counter medication. This is well thought out. It makes perfect sense. We need to support this. I urge an I vote. I yield back.